What is up people, DevSage here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you about the strategy design pattern. Uh, the strategy pattern is a pattern in which you encapsulate a group of or a family of uh, closely related algorithms. And these algorithms are called strategies. And all they are, they're, they're, they're just functions. All a strategy is, is a function where the strategy pattern comes uh, useful is it allows you to swap strategies in and out for each other very easily. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. Uh, so let, let's say I want to write a program that gives me some different, different uh, shipping calculations for some different companies like FedEx, USPS, and UPS. I'm gonna calculate some shipping costs. So uh, to start off, we're going to create our different object constructors here. I'm going to have one for FedEx. This is going to be going to give it a calculate method. It's going to take in a package. It's not really going to do anything with this package. So let's pretend we have some, you know, FedEx calculations here to kind of save time. Do do do. But let's just say we want to return. Uh, I don't know, some random number, 2.45, $2.45. That's going to be FedEx's shipping rate. And now let's create our UPS object constructor. And this is also going to have a calculate method. It's going to take in a package, a dummy package. Do boo boo, UPS calculations. And this one, let's just say it's going to be 1.56. I don't know. And now for USPS, this dot calculate. USPS calculations. And let's say USPS is going to return a, a rate of um, 4.5. Now, I suppose what we can do is we can create instances of these by saying const FedEx equals new FedEx, const uh, UPS equals new UPS, and oh, let's make this lowercase, and then USPS equals new USPS. Make sure we don't have any errors here, and we're good. And so now I guess what I could what I could do if I want to, you know, determine what the calculations are is call FedEx dot calculate and pass in uh, let's make a package object right here let's just say I don't know from I don't know let's say from Alabama to Georgia and then have the weight to be 1.56 we're not going to use this this is just for a show that so this is just kind of like to to uh, you know for demonstration purposes purposes. So pass that in, and it's going to take in the package, and it's going to call calculate on the FedEx object here, and it's going to return 2.45. And what we can also do is UPS dot calculate package, and then USPS dot calculate package. Um, but what we're going to do instead is implement the strategy pattern. So the strategy pattern allows you to encapsulate these uh, different strategies, the FedEx strategy, the UPS calculate strategy, and the USPS strategy into one place. So let's create an object constructor called shipping, which is going to serve as our context. And shipping is going to have a uh, company field this dot company we can just initialize it to be the empty string and it's also going to have a set strategy method and it's going to take in a company name rather a reference to a company and it's going to say this dot company equals company and now we're also going to give it a this dot calculate method 
and this is going to take in a package and now what we're going to do we're going to call this dot company dot calculate package and we're actually going to return that so now what we could do is we could say something like const shipping equals a new instance of our shipping object and we can say shipping dot set strategy and we can pass in FedEx for example and now we could call let's we can console log uh, shipping dot calculate with the package and this is going to be our FedEx so let's say FedEx and do it like that and let's go run it and as you can see we have FedEx 245 printed out right here so what's happening if we start here from shipping dot set strategy we're passing in the FedEx object here so it's going up here this dot set strategy takes in the, the FedEx object here and sets this dot company to equal FedEx I know it's initialized to be a string up here but it's that's just for initialization purposes this is actually storing a reference to our FedEx object and now when we go down here we call shipping dot calculate we go up here return this dot company well it happens to be FedEx this time dot calculate so it goes up here and call calls FedEx's calculate method and returns 245 so what we can do now is say shipping dot set strategy and we can change it we can set it to be UPS and we can console log UPS and shipping dot calculate package and as you can see we have UPS 156 and you could probably guess where I'm going with the next one shipping we can change our strategy to compensate for USPS console log USPS shipping dot calculate package and there we go 450 and this all works because um, each of our FedEx UPS and USPS they all have the same name of the method calculate but they're implemented slightly differently they have different strategies when it comes to calculating their shipping but because all of these methods are the same name we can encapsulate that behavior in this shipping context here so we'll be able to set the strategy by passing in a reference to the company we want to use and then using that company and calling their calculate method and it just returns whatever value that is for that company so that's the strategy pattern um, really really a uh, really neat little pattern it allows you to uh, you know kinda just swap strategies in and out as you need to um, and it's very useful it makes your code very clean and concise and that was it for strategies um, if you have any questions or comments you know leave them down in the comment section and yeah peace Thank you.